Hey, I'm back with another value pack training for you. Christine Parma, the question, are you a prisoner of your own ambitions? Now that question may seem a little odd to you because we're always hearing how important it is to be ambitious and to go after your dreams and to work hard and, you know, make it happen. And I say the same things. I say that you should go after your dreams and you should be ambitious and create the kind of business that you want to have and the life you have. But here's the trick. If you are uh, ambitious, so ambitious in the pursuit of making your dreams happen that you lose sight of what's truly important, then what's that ambition amount to? So today I'm going to uh, give you some insight and strategies on how to make sure that you don't lose sight of what's truly important as you're going after your goals, making your dreams happen. So I wanted to start off by, I'm going to mute my, my uh, audio there. Uh, I want to start off with a story that may resonate with you. You know, you may be currently um, in a nine to five job in a, in a corporate career, or you may be an entrepreneur who started their own business. I've done both. And so I can share from that experience of being ambitious in both, uh, in both environments. Now, I am a very type A driver personality uh, by nature. And when I was working in corporate many, many years ago, um, I found the need to, I was constantly uh, working late. I mean, to like 11 o'clock at night mm -hmm. and I wanted to prove that I was the best, that I was, um, good enough, you know, that I, uh, could prove myself. I was in an industry that was mostly, uh, dominated by men and that I wanted to prove myself that I was just as good as the guys. And so I worked really, really, really hard. I was in the office early and I worked late at night. I got, I was in financial services at the time. I got my certified financial planner designation in less than, in like six months. And it normally takes about two years. And it cost me a lot for the first time. I was in my twenties and for the first time in my life, I got shingles. I don't know if you've had shingles or it's very, very painful. Um, or you may, you know, your hard driving ambition may show up in other ways and other negative health consequences or your relationships suffering. Now, leap forward in time to when I launched my own brand after working with T. Harvecker for a couple of years and then taking some time off for kids. You know, it's that that driving personality, that ambition showed up in me essentially almost recreating a corporate environment for myself as I worked for myself at home. Can you relate to this? You know, it, it, do you feel like maybe your entrepreneurial business is turning into a, another nine to five job or nine to 11 <laughs> job because you're working so hard in getting your business off the ground? You know, feel free to share uh, your comments and your thoughts uh, in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. Because what happened, what I found is I was working, I started working around the clock. You know, the whole reason I started my own business is because I wanted to continue to do what I love, to share of my experience and my expertise, make money doing that, feel like I'm making a contribution to the world, but I wanted to have the freedom and the flexibility to do the things that was most important, you know, that are most important to me, like being there for my family and playing with my kids when they get home from school and being able to take vacations whenever I wanted to. And yet, what was happening? I had become a prisoner to my own ambitions. And that, you know, that showed up as me working really, really hard and driving myself really, really hard and working long hours and missing those things that were truly important to me. And there was a one uh, point, one day, uh, one winter uh, that we got a, got snow in Portland, Oregon, which is really, really rare. And I was, you know, so excited about the snow, but I had a project 
that I had set for myself and a deadline I'd set for myself. And I wanted it to be done. I so wanted it to be finished. It was, it had become this weight on my shoulders, like this burden, because I had frankly bitten off, not more than I could chew, but a really huge chunk. And it was really tough to get it done in the time frame I'd set for myself. Again, being super ambitious, you know, wanting to make my dreams happen. The intention was good, but the time frame was not sufficient. So do you find that you're setting yourself up to feel extra pressure um, and extra, um, you know, extra stress because of sh- you're giving yourself not enough time uh, and not sufficient time to get something done without freaking out about it. Well, that's what I did. And so there's this beautiful snowfall outside and I'm looking out my office window and I'm watching my kids and my husband play in the snow. And it was like a knife in the heart because I was like, I want to be out there playing. I'm going to be out there in the snow. And I had this decision to make. Do I go play in the snow and say, screw it. I'm going to, you know, I'll get this done later. Um, or do I finish it? And I, I kept working, you know, looking back, I, I should have made another choice, but that was, again, I was, I was in this prison of my mindset of thinking, I have to finish this now because if I don't, I'm going to be a failure and, and my, my business will blow up. I'll, you know, never get clients. I'll lose clients. All these, you know, catastrophic things will happen. Now in hindsight, No, that wouldn't happen. (laughs) And this isn't me saying, yeah, slack off in your business or, you know, don't take action to go after your dreams. What I'm advocating here is balance. Don't lose sight of what's really important, you know, especially if you're an entrepreneur and you, you, you boss women out there. You know, we have the tendency to give and give and give of ourselves and give to other people and put ourselves last. And doing so comes at a huge sacrifice to our own happiness, our own health and well-being, the well-being of our family and our relationships, you know, our mental state, our stress levels, that you know, miles long to-do list that we create for ourselves and then give us, you know, give ourselves like two hours to get it done. Please don't do that to yourself because when you do. And I can speak from experience here. It sucks the joy out of your life, out of the whole, it sucks the whole reason that you created your business for away. You know, if you made the the leap into being an entrepreneur, which in and of itself is a huge thing, and you're taking action and you're doing the things that you need to do to build your business and grow your business That is, that's a huge, that takes a lot of courage. So don't rob yourself of the freedom that you wanted and was, you know, probably one of the reasons you created your business for by piling on too much in an unsustainable way or get the resources you need and put the processes and the systems in place so that you have more of the freedom so you can be ambitious but you're not having to do it all yourself. You know, delegating, outsourcing, getting help. Oh my gosh, that was one of the best moves I could make. Topic for another conversation. Today is really mindset reset for you around what it means to be ambitious. You can be ambitious and not work 24 seven. You can go after your dreams and make them have it, uh, happen and still have heaven, shall I say, in your life by doing the things that light you up, fulfill your soul, are really important to you. Now, if you were in my uh, Summer Bliss Business Challenge, I talked a lot um, about this topic. Um, and I have I will continue to talk about this topic and also provide exclusive trainings in the Facebook community that I've created called Successful Women Entrepreneurs. If you would like uh, for me to send you the link to Successful Women Entrepreneurs, just type the word group 
in the comments below and you'll get a message into your inbox with the link for that. It is for women entrepreneurs women entrepreneurs who are looking for support and coaching and training in a community of other supportive, ambitious women entrepreneurs who are not willing to sacrifice what matters most to them on the altar of their uh, ambitions. They want to make their dreams happen. They want to grow profitable, successful businesses, but not at the expense of everything else in their lives. So if that sounds like something that is right up your alley in a community you would love to be a part of, type the word group, G-R-O-U-P, in the comments below, and you'll get a link to the Successful Women Entrepreneurs Group, or you can look it up on Facebook. And if you want to uh, get reminders of when I go live or when I do trainings uh, like this, and also my practical business uh, uh, trainings, then you can type the word subscribe below and you'll get those reminders in your Facebook inbox. I would love to know in what you think about ambition. Do you have to uh, sacrifice a lot in life in order to fulfill your ambitions? Or uh, should you have a balance between your ambitions and doing what lights you up? I feel the latter, but I'd love to hear what you think. So please comment below whether you're catching this on the live stream or in the replay. So I am Christine Parma, and it has been my pleasure to share this message with you today. If you want to find out more about me and how I help ambitious women entrepreneurs to build profitable businesses without sacrificing everything that matters to them uh, in, along the way, then you can find out more about me uh, at christineparma.com. So that's all for today. I'll be back next week in the Successful Women Entrepreneurs Group with an exclusive business training. So make sure if you're a woman and you want to build a profitable business that you join the group. Until then, I wish you amazing success in your business and life and take care. Bye-bye.